Maybe I'm just too demanding when picking the right off-white. Whether you're looking for a trim color to go with the walls or a bright light white for your walls that doesn't look too stark, I believe I have a color that will satisfy a lot of decorating needs out there. Looking for a white that doesn't feel too sterile? Well, have I got the color for you. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com and this is Color Code, cracking the code on color selection. This is a segment of videos where we discuss paint colors in detail, their undertones, and how to best use them in your home or your customers. As always, if there are any colors you want talked about on Color Code, don't forget to let me know down below and we can add it to the queue. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what else do I have to do to get you to click that button? If you didn't catch my Prince pun at the start of the video, I don't blame you because it was a subtle reference to today's color code, OC17. This is what it looks like when doves cry. White Dove is part of Benjamin Moore's off-white collection. So let's start with finding out what the company has to say about it. Unerring style defines this classic, softly shaded white. Light and luminous, it is a favorable choice for moldings and trim. Although you would think that doves were just plain white, they're not. If you watched our video on off-whites, we talked about how it's essentially impossible to find a white paint color, largely due to the differences in pigment, but also personal perception and opinion. What's white to one person may look light gray to another. So where does white dove sit? Well, for starters, it's an off-white that leans towards the warmer end of the neutral spectrum. It mainly gets its warmth from yellows, but it also comes with a dash of taupey gray that keeps it from feeling too creamy. Although its undertones keep it feeling soft and delicate, its bright LRV of 85 keeps it quite vibrant as well. An LRV that high definitely puts it in the off-white category, as you could confuse it for being white in larger areas with the right lighting. Where are some of the best places to use it? Being an off-white, your trim and woodwork would be a great candidate. White Dove presents itself as an excellent alternative to some of the overly bright, stark whites out there. It lends itself to a more subtle approach to design as it won't be as sharp of a contrast with your wall color. I tend to prefer softer whites like White Dove on woodwork that isn't overly ornate, so it does a better job at blending in rather than popping out. White Dove is also a fantastic cabinet color because that touch of warmth goes so well with granite and marble countertops. I also think it feels a bit more modern when compared to other warm whites because it finds a nice balance between warm but still light and neutral. Could you use it on the walls? Of course, but just be aware of the surrounding lighting. If you get a lot of sunlight, it could be extremely bright. And if you don't, the gray undertone could be amped up giving your walls a light green hue at times. It's always a good idea to test your colors out on your walls before buying all the paint. Links below if you need color testers. What colors should you pair it with? Assuming you want to go ahead and use it on the walls, then some important decisions about your trim color need to be made. Whenever you're picking a wall color as light as White Dove, you then have to decide to either find something different enough or just to match it up and use White Dove on both surfaces. It might even be worth entertaining the idea of using darker trim colors. Something like AF100 Pashmina could work very nicely with the warmer, neutral feel of White Dove. Essentially, you don't want to pick a color that's just a touch different because then it could look off. The same goes the other way around. If you're using White Dove on your trim, your wall color should be dark enough so that it differentiates itself. It doesn't need to be too dark to be noticeable. For example, I've paired Classic Grey with White Dove and it looks great. Classic Grey is by all accounts a light color, but the 10 LRV difference in depth is enough to display a noticeable contrast, allowing White Dove to pop. What are some alternatives? If we're talking about the reigning champions of warm whites, especially in Benjamin Moore's color palette, you'd have to give it to Simply White and Cloud White. They both get their warmth from yellow with varying degrees of lightness. Simply White is cleaner and will appear brighter because it has less of a neutral gray feel, while Cloud White simply has more colorant in it, which means its warmth will be a bit more pronounced. These two are going to be your go-to options if you want more of that warmth in the forefront because White Dove's yellow tinge is actually toned down a touch because of that taupey gray aspect within it. We go into more detail on Simply White in this video, 
So if the gray undertones and white dove are throwing you off a bit, this could be the white for you. Subscribe if you haven't already and give us a like for some positive reinforcement. That's it for this one. See you on the next one.